for this hairstyle um it looks really extremely complicated but when i i tried it like this um before i decided to do the video the video to see um how complicated it was and it's really not that complicated um it's kind of easy to do um, and quick to do. Uh, first off, you want to put your hair in a high ponytail like this. And with this uh, hairstyle, you want it to be a really uh, high ponytail. You can see how high I have it up. Uh, hair off in the front, about that much. In the front, like I did. And you want to leave like uh, three braids on the side hanging. For the uh, um, cause you see she got like a little ring curl on the side of her head, um, but the ring curl don't start down here. It's like up in the middle, so that's why I took out like three. You can see I took out three braids, and I took them out like right here. Okay, um, like I said, this hairstyle might not look exactly like hers, but this is what I came up with, and it looks pretty close to it. So this hair here, uh, if you notice, if you look at the picture, she got like a twist right here in her hair. So you want to take this and smooth it over to the side as much as you can. And then you want to twist it like that. And it's not a perfect twist, it's just like a... Like a slight way, it's not. And you don't want to twist it tight because you want it to be kind of. I don't know. I guess you can call it like a fat twist, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But you want it to be like that. See how wide that is? That's the way you want it in the top. So you want to take that and you want to pin it down. I hope my camera don't die on me before I finish this tutorial. I hope not. Okay, like that. Then the ends of the twist, uh, where you twist it, you can kind of spread it out like this. Well, not yet. She got like two plaits right here. You want to take section some of your ponytail off some of the hair off and it's up to you how thick you want your plaits to be um, I'm not gonna make mine that thick want them to be where they can be seen but not really you know so you want to just plait that all the way down because I'm trying to do this fast before I try to get this all into one tutorial which it should fit into one Okay. You don't have to plait all the way to the end. That's good right there. That's one plait. And then you want to section out some more hair because she got two plaits on there. So you want to section out a little more hair. And you want to plait it as well. Now you could put rubber bands on the tip of these if you're afraid that they'll come down. The plate will come down. Just keep make sure it don't come down. But um, I don't think it would come down really. I believe it, think it would hold pretty good. Okay. That's pretty good there. And there. Okay, now you want to take this the in the twisted hair which you twisted. Just kind of spread that out over the hair. Not covering the plaits though. I'm spreading out to um sort of cover up my ponytail hold as you can see it's like right in there. Okay, next you want to spread your hair out in the back. And for this hairstyle, um probably wet and wavy hair will work best, but um I'm sure you're probably going to need some pretty good length braids. If your braids are short, I don't know. 
you might could still do this hairstyle, I'm not sure, but um, it'll probably be a little more difficult. Okay, so now what I did was, I'm going to turn around so you can see what I'm doing. I sectioned off like the middle section of my hair. Instead of trying to pin all of it at one time, it was easy for me to section it off. off. In three sections, I started with the middle. So what I did, I just took the middle of my hair and I just folded it on there like that. And as you can see, this is a, a kind of messy hairstyle, so it don't have to be perfect. Behind. And I stuck two curl pins in. I stuck one going this way, one going the other way. Just for security in there. Like that. Then I took the side of my hair. I'm going to turn around so you can see the side. And you want to kind of spread the plaits out. You want the plaits to be on top when you pin it. So that they can actually be seen. And I just took, it, took the plaits and I just took it. Tucked it under like that. And stick the bob pin in going this way. And don't worry about the gap being in there. You're going to close that in in a second. And I stuck a pin in it. Stuck another pin in there. Okay. Stuck another pin in there. Now I know it's hanging kind of wild now. Now what you want to do is take some wire hair pins like this, the little small ones, and um, actually shape in and close in the gap that you have. So I'm going to pull my braids over a little bit because I want them to be up front to the side kind of like. And you just want to take it and pin it down. And I'm not really just, um, I'm not really moving the hair much, that much, because it's, like I said, it's a kind of messy hairstyle, so you don't have to pin it. That's what I like about the hairstyle, that it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm going to turn around and show you exactly how I'm pinning it down. So I'm taking the little thin bobbin pins, like this, you see where it's kind of bulgy at, like right here. I'm just taking it and sticking the hair pin in it like that. And just pinning it down till it feels smooth to my hand. Like I said, I can't see what I'm doing. Plus, like I said, her style is kind of messy anyway, so it don't really matter. And then when I pin it down like that, I kind of puff it out a little bit. Like that. So it won't be so flat behind. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Get some more her pins. Like Okay, I'm sorry, my camera cut off on me. Um, like I said, you want to pin it down. Take the little thin bottom pins and pin it down like you want it. Now, when you get toward the front, like right here, you want to take this and spread it out some. And, and pull it toward the front of your head. Oh, yeah. So you can see that she there's the uh, two braids like she got in the front. You got the twist in the middle like she had it. And this part here is kind of messy. That's the way I... I decide to try to mimic the hairstyle like i said it might not be exactly like it like hers is but it's close as i could get to um to the original picture so hope you enjoyed the tutorial and i will talk to you later youtube till then take care